pardon? Hello, Gabe. Here is your car. It's in pieces right now, but I'm going to put it together for you so you can see how we work it. Here's the tools you need. You need a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips, preferably a small Phillips. Okay, don't really need these. You need a pair of scissors to cut, sometimes to cut your extra string. Crazy glue just in case anything breaks. Your floss, dental floss. Okay, this is the string that you're going to use to power your car. As we put it together, here's your gears that's going to hold the string on the motor. Here's your string, doesn't matter how long, yay, about yay long because you're going to double it. Take the string, come through the bar, come up, come up and bring it even. Bring it down, put one little loop in it, or tie it once. Tie it down, make sure your string is kind of equal. Doesn't matter, it's going to move anyways, but try to go for the middle. That's why I got lines there so you can see. Then you take it, yes, it's coming out, it's okay. Put the string together, make it even, because it probably won't end up even, as you can see. Take it, and you got to feed it through this hole right here on the bottom. From the top here, you go in. Come over top of it and you put it in the hole here. It's kind of like sewing, you got to cool thread a needle. Get in the stay, feed it through. See, it came through here on the bottom. Get your wheels, hold it up. Pull the string through, and there you go. You are through. It's ready to go. So you pull on the string, it goes up and down. <clears throat> now, as you got that one through, you got to put it through this one here. Okay, like that, like so. Then you take it, let the car slide down. Here we go. Oh, thank you. Okay. Take the gear, put it through. See, as it slides through, you take it. This is the hard part. Is you got to get it on there, get it balanced. Put the other finger on the back of the motor, and you push, you pinch it. Make sure your string is pulled kind of tight. Car isn't lifted up on the ground, off the ground too much. Push. Take the excess string, cut it off. Front's done. Now we're gonna do the back. Taking another piece of string, just like the front. Take the string, slide it through. <coughs> Try to make it a little even. Tie it. Try to get in the middle again. There it is. Give it a little pull. Make your string even. Cut it to where it's even. Because this makes it easier to put it through the hole here. Take your wheel out. And you feed it through the hole. And if you have to, do one string at a time. Might be easier. And it's through. Again. Make sure you get your wheels lined up inside the sliding area. As you can see. Take it through the other hole, just like the front. Try to get it to pop right. Mm -hmm. Now, right there. Drop your 
stream. Get your gear, just like the front. Take it and slide it through. It's through. Same with this one. Now you're going to try to pinch it just like you did the front. Put your finger on the back part of the motor and then push on it. As long as it's on there, it doesn't have to go all the way. There we go. Cut the excess string off. All done, ready to go. Ready to hop away. Get the chassis lined up. This is where you won't slide right in. You gotta take one side in, in the middle, pull on the body a little, and slide into place. With your Phillips screwdriver is where you screw it in. Take the other one. It's all done. Everything is screwed in. Can you see? Everything's good to go. If your wheel should drop out like that. Clear your sports space. Take the extra string, throw it away. As it sits, here's your this battery, this wire right here is your constant power is both. Like you know, positive and minus. Here's your positive or your minus, and here's your positives right here. These two. You're gonna stick one in the positive, or it doesn't matter. And this is the one that you tap it with. Okay. Shoot that. Come right here, Isaac. See how I'm gonna touch the wire? There's the back cup. White one is your front. Depending on your battery power, it'll hop different. We got six volts going to it. You get a good 10 to 15 hops out of it off of, off of one good string. So learn how to do the tying of the string. Hops pretty good, huh? Like that? The back sticks for a reason so that you can hop the front. It's a good thing. It's like what you see inside of the actual hopping car contest. Mm -hmm. The back won't hop as much. It'll just lift it up. The front is your hopping part. This is your car, Gabe. Now, watch this. See, if you can see inside, if you look in right here where the motor connects to the string, you see the gear popped off. It happens. A lot. <laughs> so that's why you got to learn how to put the screws on yourself, okay? Or put the string in at all times. Love you, Gabe. Love, Love you, Gabe. Gabe. Enjoy your car. Love you, Trina. Love you too, Trina. Peace out.